Thanks very much as we his hit singles include I'm Not The One, Koto, as well as Kaya to Josie, which have catapulted him into a household name in the Lesotho hip-hop scene. He was born Tabeli Zia, but is known in the music industry as Mega Hits, a.k.a. Ndadistana. Well, he was, uh, well, his career started back in 2004 and has performed at uh, big events such as the Maseru Summer Fest and the Lesotho Color Festival. The 23-year-old rapper, song writer, cinematographer, and record producer joins us now to take us through his musical journey. Ndadistana, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Eh? Let's go back to when you first fell in love with hip-hop. Um, I grew up uh, already, like I had this love for hip-hop. Yeah? Yeah, at, at a very early age. Yeah? You know, yeah, I grew up listening to hip-hop. It has always been my thing, you know. And who were those prominent rap stars that, you know, you would hear on the radio, see on the TV and think, man, I want to do something like this one day? I uh, started with 50 Cent, G Unit, and then uh, I grew up and then I, I, I started loving African hip hop, Ice Prince, and then that's where everything started. A lot of people are talking about you right now. People just love what you do and the artists that you are becoming. Let's talk about uh, what are some of the highlights that you've experienced since you started to embark on this uh, career journey. Uh, first, uh, I released uh, my first official single back in 2014, mm -hmm. back in Lesotho, and then uh, that's where everything started. And uh, I, I got a lot of fans back there. Yeah. And then uh, lately, it was the promo video for my album that went viral. You know, that's one of the biggest highlights of my <laughs> music career. Trust me, I had never met you, but I saw the promo video, and I absolutely fell in love with the music that you do. So for, say for people who haven't heard your music, what kind of sound is it in terms of hip-hop? Are you more trap? Uh, or, or what are the sounds that you sort of explore when you do your music? It's a fusion of trap and uh, famu music, which is our original music uh, that originates from Lesotho. Mm -hmm. So it's actually trap music, with accordion you know we call it koreana music okay. so yeah it's a fusion of that it's it sounds more african it's yes. just me uh, i rap with my uh, native language which is Sesotho. so yeah that's my type of music and what are some of the themes that you explore or talk about in your music all my music i talk about incidents that i i, can, I relate to mm -hmm. uh, mostly things that have happened in my life because i only get inspired to write music when something has happened in my life or mm -hmm. i can actually relate to something all right then speak to us just about some of the artists that you have worked with producers that you've worked with so far and if we talk in terms of collaborations who do you see yourself collaborating with in the future um i've worked with juvie while well, is one of the biggest artists back in Lesotho and I've worked with Malume Vector who is now in Ambitious now and uh, looking forward uh, you know I maybe uh, will work with Nadia Nakai she's yeah. one of my favorite rappers around here yeah yeah most definitely okay so you've recently released a single I'm not the one tell us more about this project um, I released the song uh, two years back mm -hmm. but it's receiving a lot of love now Traction, yeah. Yeah, yeah after yeah. the promo video <laughs> and it's like it's a new song now out here you know yeah yeah but i did the song two years back and it's really a great tune you know mm. yeah. so outside of you making music what else are you busy with i'm a cinematographer i'm into film industry i i love shooting videos movies uh, you know films everything music videos i'm a cinematographer i'm a i'm a, I'm a music video director as well because wow. i shoot and direct my own music videos wow that's yeah. incredible thank you and so uh, just in the future what are some of the things that you would still like to achieve we see a lot of south african rappers doing big things not just on the african continent but also on, on a global stage you've got our rappers out there receiving bet awards uh, being invited to freestyle on sway we see them collaborating with big brands what would you still love to do most definitely you said it all you <laughs> <laughs> you said it all yeah that's everything that um you know, looking forward to and I'm praying they happen, you know, receiving a BET award, yeah. you know, taking my culture out there because I feel like um, I need to sell my culture, my, our lifestyle, but sort of culture out there because mm -hmm. it's something that's lacking. But I, I can see the demand out there that people need to know 
uh, fully or experience this whole sort of thing you know out there so that's my actually it's my goal mm. you know? when you look at Lesotho and South Africa and I know you kind of are in between both you, you travel to both countries yeah most definitely rap in South Africa or hip-hop in South Africa is now said to be kind of dying it seems like it's on the decline when you compare it to Lesotho is it the same energy is it the same vibe or is hip-hop still a, a big part of pop culture in Lesotho it is. We are getting there, you know. It's also a challenge back in Lesotho, but now things are, 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 are kind of different, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, people are embracing the hip-hop culture. It's then that they understand this whole hip-hop culture thing mm -hmm. and the way we are portraying it. You know, we, we're not... Uh, 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 copying whatever that's already here, you know. Mm -hmm. We're coming with something new, you know, people, like out of... Like, Sesotho is a language that we don't have many words that rhyme, but mm -hmm. coming, being able to come up with a Sesotho song, you know, as a hip-hop song, you yeah. know, it's, it's really something that people are amazed of. You know. And where can we see you performing this December? Um, Malatunyana Bra Festival is one of the biggest shows around Africa. In, uh, it happens in Lesotho, you know, uh, next to the majestic waterfall. It's, <laughs> it's a very interesting show. Uh, so I'll be headlining that event this coming November. It's like... Or oh, the end of November. It's actually the longest uh, festival ever. Ah, yeah. awesome stuff. And for more, I guess people can uh, catch up with you on social media? Yeah, most definitely. All right, perfect stuff. And Tatistana, thank you so much. You're incredible. Can't wait to have more music from you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's uh, rapper, songwriter, and record producer, Megahertz, a.k.a. Tatistana, taking us through his musical journey, with inclu which includes performing at the Maseru Summerfest, as well as his uh, hit single, which he says was released about two years ago, but is only gaining that traction now. I am not the one. We'll certainly be seeing more from uh, this amazing artist.